Hello everyone, let's talk about this basic integral here. This is an exponential function that we are integrating. And for this one, let's just recall something here. Um, we actually show that the integral of e to the ax, where a is not equal to zero. Okay, so, so a is not equal to zero. Okay, so that's equal to what? That's equal to one over a, which is the reciprocal of a, times e to the ax, which is the same function, and then plus the constant c. Okay, so now then you may say, what do we do with this plus four right here? We can actually first break this using the rules of ex exponents, break this apart. How do we break that apart? We can actually write it as e to the we can actually write it as what e to the let me just use different colors right here so e to the negative three x okay and then times and then times what e to the fourth and then the x see what's going on here e to the fourth is actually a constant so we can move it outside the integral so if we do that we are going to get e to the fourth times the integral of e to the negative three x and then dx. Do you see that this is actually the function that we will focus on integrating? We actually do not even need to worry about e to the fourth right here because it's a constant. It's not a function, right? I mean, you can treat that as a constant function, but we can, according to the constant multiple rule, we do not need to worry about this function right here. And so um, right now, when we are integrating e to the negative three x, we can use this formula that we have right here. Actually, you can show how we got this formula by checking out the other video in uh, in the description. So see the link in there. And then for this e to the negative three x, our a is what, negative three. So what do we have here? That part is really just reversing the chain rule. So we get e to the fourth and then times what? Times, now I'm just going to copy the function one more time because that's the same exponential function right here. So just copy that e to the negative three x. And what we need to multiply in the front would be would be really just the reciprocal of the a. And in this case, the a is negative three. So we need to multiply by negative one over three. And then plus the constant integration. And then if we clean up the answer a little bit, right, then what do we get here? Okay, so let me draw a nicer equal sign. I don't know why it looks so bad. Let me just draw it one more time. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the negative one over three in the front, okay? And then do you realize that it's actually e to the negative three x? And then e to the fourth? That's actually the same product as e to the negative three x times e to the fourth. So we can put it back as the original integrand. So altogether, we have e to the negative three x plus four and then plus C. Do you see what's going on here? It doesn't really matter if we are adding an extra constant here in the exponent because it's still going to be the same function. And the way that we handle the process of reversing the chain rule, it's, it's really just the same idea as what we did here. All we need to do is to multiply by the reciprocal of the coefficient of the X. But that has nothing to do with the extra number that we are adding right here. Okay, so if you see more stuff right here, as long as there is no x involved in here, then if it's a, just a constant that you're adding to the exponent or subtracting from the exponent, then it actually does not really change the number in the front. Okay, so that's, that's how we integrate this function. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me some support. And then also give me a like and leave me a comment. And then please also check out my other math videos. Thank you for watching this video. I will see.